how much tobacco and alcohol through Macau or Hong Kong? Well, you can take one cigar, 19 or less cigarettes, 25 grams of other tobacco, pipe tobacco, or one liter of alcohol without uh, tax. Anything above that, taxed. Uh, friends and subscribers, Macau, Hong Kong. Only 1.8 kilos of baby powder is allowed to enter Hong Kong and then go to the mainland. So, uh, believe it or not, stranger than fiction, uh, baby powder is now a controlled substance. So, what is Macau? Well, as far as I can tell, modern day Macau is just a collection of casinos and pawn shops. Big casinos downtown, and around the casinos, as you can imagine, whole rolls and lists of pawn shops, pawn dealers, brokers. So far, I haven't found any gold and silver coin, but there are a lot of gold and silver bars, necklaces, and watches. Right there's the uh, win, and there's uh, several other big casinos, MGM, Sands, etc., uh, etc. Et Many more going up, and uh, there was a rumor back a while ago, right after the first stimulus came out after 2008, that a great deal of that stimulus money ended up here in Macau, and that's because government officials like to throw around the money, if you know what I mean. Uh, the problem was so bad that a after that first stimulus, there was a uh, memo floating around that, that said, uh, don't spend money in Macau and places like that with your stimulus money. Um, so yeah, Macau is a huge place for gambling. In fact, uh, they love gambling so much that the numbers even trumped out of Las Vegas. And I don't want to generalize too much, but in general, Asians love to gamble. And the numbers of uh, the casinos throughout Asia do not lie when it comes to that. Very Hong Kong-esque. Alleyways with uh, bright signs sticking out and going up. Second island. Uh, Macau here, the city of dreams, um, got the crown, hard, hard rock hotel right there, and across the way, uh, the Venetian, which has just come in here recently, and they're digging this place up, there's going to be a lot more coming in, many more gaming groups, many more investment companies wanting to get in here at the second island. There's four bridges that can come across to here, it is where the development is right now. And that's kind of the future of Macau. More gaming, uh, more pawn shops, more restaurants, more hotels, and more of the unsavory, if you know what I mean. Uh, the eldest son of uh, Kim Jong-il actually uh, had lived here in Macau for, for many years. And uh, he was in line to take over North Korea, but uh, declined the luxury to do so, if you know what I mean. Um, According to many sources, he's a really kind of a degenerate gambler and alcoholic and, and all that. Uh, I'm not sure if he's still here or not, but uh, definitely has uh, his uh, fingerprint on Macau, so to speak, with all of that uh, uh, money from uh, Daddy Dearest. One of my subscribers asked a while back when I mentioned China has a fake economy, quote unquote, what exactly I meant by that. Now, what I meant was not that it was a fake economy 100%, but what I meant was that a lot of it is fictitious. A lot of it is uh, unrealistic planning for a future that is uncertain. Example here, this is a Venetian. Uh, you've got all these gondolas. I know that uh, this is a storm coming here, but uh, still, you've got all these gondolas. You've got all the space and capacity here, but nobody's here. This is a holiday weekend in China. This is a three-day holiday. Everybody's got these three days off, and there is nobody here. This is a huge area of concern because they just keep building, and they're keeping building on the second island of Macau. More casinos, each one bigger than the next. More shows, more everything, and nobody is here. I haven't seen as many people as I imagined that there would be at all. Um, and it's really kind of eerie, kind of like a uh, ghost uh, Las Vegas, ghost city. Looks to 
be quite a storm. Choppy already out there. Don't be cocky. 